hello viewers welcome back to our channel if you're just tuning in don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon as you know gambia kacha tv got you covered in the latest and hottest information today we're going to take you through 10 things you did not know about saying a bombay point number one Sena Bumbay was born and raised in Lathir Kundar Sabiji in the year 1992. So this year, 2022, makes her 30 years old. Her mother was a local market seller at Lathir Kundar. Growing up, Sena Bumbay frequently visited the market to help her mother sell. Thus, Sena Bumbay grew up with good selling skills. Now we know where she got her business skills from. Point number two. According to Sena Bombay, she attended Latir Kunda Primary School, then moved to Ndaus Comprehensive School. Though other sources said she attended Mashru Senior Secondary School. According to Sena Bombay, she studied business management at Inside Training Center after high school before she began her entrepreneurial journey. Point number three. Sena Bombay has been divorced twice. She first got married to Bob Keita in 2014 and the couple had two beautiful daughters. Unfortunately, in the late 2019, early 2020, they got divorced. Then Sena Bumbay got married to another guy called Ibrahim from Gunjur. This one too didn't last long. They got divorced and Sena Bumbay went on dating one Lebanese businessman in the country who is married with four kids. Point number four, falsely accused her ex-husband Bob Keita of committing a rape case against her younger sister Fatima. This is after they broke up in 2020. Sena Bumbay demanded that Bob Keita should pay $100,000 as monthly child support for the kids now that they are divorced. At that time, Bob Keita was living with both Sena Bumbay and Fatima aka Mama. When Fatima got impregnated by her boyfriend, Sena Bumbay saw this as an opportunity to accuse Bob Keita of raping her younger sister which resulted into pregnancy. And that is how the feud started between the two until it became a national court case of Bob Keita and the state. And then Bob was thrown in jail for two years. Point number five. Sena Bumbay came from a family of traders and so as expected, she started her own business, fashion and beauty called Saks Beauty. This business at the initial stage was supported by her ex-husband, Bob Keita. This business has five staff and it was really doing well in the country. Their main shops were at Tabokata and Bursubi. Moving on to point number six. Sena Bumbay spent $70,000 on a birthday cake, the cake that we all saw on social media. This was on her 30th birthday celebration in 2022 at Coco Ocean. Sena Bumbay is also reported to have spent a whooping $1.5 million on SUV car. At that time, her ex-husband Bob Keita, who supported her business, was, su was suffering in mile two. Clary, it can be seen that she wanted her husband to rot in jail while she stayed free and chill with the rest of the money. Sena Bumbay got banned from TikTok. Her TikTok account had about 40,000 followers and was reported multiple times by her followers to get banned. After people realized that she falsely accused her ex-husband of rape, Gambians became restless and, and took her to her social media account to say that she is muted. Sena Bumbay, point number eight, was charged with manslaughter. After Sena Bumbay accused her ex-husband Bob Keita of raping her younger sister which led to pregnancy, and then there was a baby born, baby Mohammed, may he so rest in peace. He died after one year, few months in the hands of Sena Bumbay and few other people in Senegal. When Sena Bumbay and his people returned to the Gambia, they were accused of killing that child and she denied it. For if she is found guilty, she will spend the rest of her life in prison. Sena Bumbay on December 16, 2022 was set free. The state decided to discontinue the manslaughter trial against her. Sena Bumbay's release came as a shock to a lot of Gambians on social media. A lot of Gambians expected that she should have faced the full force of law. They felt disappointed in the state for discontinuing the case. What do you guys think? Should the state have continued with the manslaughter trial against Sena Bombay or not?
and now viewers this was what we have for you tune in next time for more information